So today I got these in the mail. These six pre-release kits for Crimson Vow. I wasn't able to make it to the pre-release, so I ordered these, open to, you know, open them during the pre-release time, have some fun. Uh, pre-release came and went, they didn't come. The release day came and went, and they didn't come. They're finally here now, so I'm happy to open them. Uh, so six pre-release kits, and each one also came with two booster packs of prize support, so two draft booster packs for each. And then for ordering six of these, it came with the BioBox promo too, so that's kind of neat. So let's take a look and see what's inside. So yeah, I ordered these uh, online because I had some store credit from a store and figured I might as well just use it on these. Um, what a lot of stores will do, I guess, is uh, for pre-release items, they'll mail them, you know, like a day or two early so that by the time you're, like, you'll actually get them on the pre-release day and be able to open them. I think that they're technically not allowed to do that, but, uh, you know, a lot of them do anyway, but I guess this one didn't, and they actually mailed it on the pre-release, or, you know, on the pre-release day, which is why I'm just receiving it now, but that's okay, you know, it's better to have it late than never, right? You see right here, Chandra Dressed to Kill, Dressed to Kill, it's a pretty nice promo. That red die, what else? Nothing. And six packs. I think, <clears throat> yeah, I think what I'll do is uh, open the other five of these up and just uh, reveal all the pre-release promos at once. I did that when I did uh, 12 Calatime pre-release pack openings, and uh, that was pretty cool. Actually, when I did that, though, um, sorry, I bought 12 Calatime pre-release packs because they were on sale. And one of them did not have a pre-release promo in it. It was kind of weird, but I guess, you know, that, that kind of thing just happens sometimes. Uh, I'm not sure if the video is up or not. Like, so, there are manufacturing errors, right? I'm not sure if this video up, is up or not yet, but uh, I opened the Phyrexian Secret Lair. I just received that recently also. And I ordered the non-foil one, and you can see in my video as I open it, there's zero Voren clicks. But there are two Elish Norns in my uh, in my Phyrexian Secret Lair. So I have three red dice so far. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, manufacturing errors like that do tend to just happen. You know, if it's missing a pre-release promo, it doesn't doesn't automatically mean that someone opened it, took the thing out, and then resealed it, and they're just trying to pull a fast one on you. I wonder, though, if I contacted Wizards about that, would they send me out a promo card or something? I don't know. Usually Wizards is pretty good about it, right? Well, it's been my experience in the past anyway. If there's a, you know, a problem with a product that you have and you can prove that you bought it, uh, they'll generally try to do something to make it right for you. <laughs> Four red ones, one green. All right, last one. Almost four minutes in, zero booster packs opened. Seems, seems okay. Okay, so this one is black. All right, well, fortunately, I kind of spoiled that one there. Fortunately, I, do have pre-release promo for every kit, so let's go through them. This one was white, I kind of spoiled it there, I'm not sure what it is. Sav Savior of All in Box, so two Mythics, that's nice. That's a pretty good card, I think. Initially, I wasn't that high on this, but then so I saw someone point out that it can exile creatures from your graveyard, so like when this dies, that creature you exiled comes back to the battlefield under your control, which is pretty cool. Headless Rider, that's a good card, I think. Uh, you know, great for a zombie tribal, right? Yeah, I think that's a pretty powerful card. Demonic Bargain, interesting. Runo Stromkirk, and... 
Well, darn estate. I think this card kind of sucks. That's the pro, uh, the Biowax promo. It's just the alternate version of it. But like, it's it's good in Vampire Tribal, but that's literally the only thing that is good, and it's just such a narrow card, right? It's, I don't know. Anyway, it's cool. I'll put these aside and start opening some packs. This other stack right here. So I've got what? 30, uh, so 36 plus 12, got 48 packs, so that's like, uh, 1.3 booster boxes or something like that. Let's get to it. All right, so these are going to have the things in front, it seems. Here's an overcharged amalgam. Common, uncommon, token dragon illusion. Foil land. The lands are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, once again, the, the the packs that come as prize support and the ones that are in the pre-release kit are different. So I guess I'm going through the, the prize support ones right now. And these ones are set up with the rares and stuff in front. Edgar, this card is awesome. I uh, I haven't played much Crimson Vow on Arena yet. I played, I think, one draft and one sealed. Played Edgar in one of my decks, though, and that card is really powerful. Like, it kind of just never goes away unless you can exile it. And a lot of times I actually want it to die so that it can flip over and start giving me some vampires and then just come back. And notably, uh, when it's flipped over, so after the third counter gets put on it, it flips back to Edgar and comes back. It doesn't have summoning sickness, so it can attack right away. Soren, the Worthless. Soren, the Worthless. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Got the sexy Soren. Happy for that. Start a mythic pile. Right here, how about that? Mythic slams. Uh, pretty good start, must say. Mm -hmm. Two mythic pre release promos and Soren. Edgar is cool. I'm not sure how much financial value Edgar has, but I have two of them now. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I think that's a good uncommon. Also, I feel like uh, I feel like Edgar's gonna be a pretty big casual card. Yeah, it has a tribal synergy. It's an iconic character. It's a powerful effect. It's legendary. What more can you want? I guess if it was mythic, maybe curse of hospitality. Valor stance that used to be a so that's a reprint. Uh, the first time it was printed, though, I think it was a semi-valuable uncommon out of, uh, I want to say Fate Reforged, maybe? Fairly popular card in Standard at the time. Torrens, Fist of Angels. I don't know what this does. Let's take a look at it. Training, 2-2 two, two for 3. When you cast a creature spell, create a human soldier with training. That seems powerful. Yeah, a pretty good card. You know, it's a 2-2 two, two for 3, but it has a pretty good passive ability there. Or, I guess not passive, a triggered ability. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. A foil Hallbreaker Horror. Currently, that's the most valuable rare in the set, so uh, nice. We'll put that in a cool guy pile. Investigator's Journal. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the uh, what wait, this goes here with the uh, what's valuable and what's not in this set in terms of uh, rares and mythics and whatnot. This I know is the best rare I think, but I'm also gonna put these Edgars in my cool guy pile. Even if they aren't super valuable, I still like them. Path of Peril. It's a good card. Very flexible.
I played that in the same deck as my uh, Edgar, so that's a nice combo. Because Edgar just comes right back, even if I destroy all creatures. Woodvile Purveyor. That's a good card, I think. It's a little bit similar to a card called uh, Desecration Demon from, I think, Return to Ravnica. That card was big in standard. I feel like this one could be too. Creepy Puppeteer. Don't know what this does. Hmm. Eh, it seems not great. I would like to get uh, several of the dual lands, hopefully. The lands in this set and Midnight Hunt. Those are some, some pretty good duels. I like them. Demonic Bargain. Got that as one of my promos. Is the uh, showcase frame, I guess it's called the Fang frame for this set. Uh, it's pretty cool. Like I, It looks nice, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite ones. I like the Midnight Hunt one better. Dream Shackle Geist. Oh, that seems pretty powerful, actually. Could be a good card. I didn't... Yeah, I guess for this set also, I didn't I didn't foil this, uh, follow the spoilers super closely. Like, I, I checked each day, I think, but didn't necessarily see every card in detail. So now we're on to the packs that were inside the pre-release kits. So these, yeah, these are set up a different way with the stuff in back. Dread Feast Demon. That's, I think it could be a powerful card. Surprisingly, only two foils. Well, and also, I guess, three foils. So it's not so bad. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to chuck my tokens over here or whatever. I got something that flips there. This looks pretty cool. The showcase frame. Cut. No, it's the Catilda. <laughs> that was a card in uh, Midnight Hunt also. Well, a, a character in Midnight Hunt. I wonder if... What does this one do? Flying... She has flying now. Okay. Flying lifelink pro vampires. Star star for three. Weird. Not sure if that card's good. Grolnok, the Omnivore. This card is cool because it's a legendary frog called Grolnok. I was, I briefly considered making a commander deck of this, but thinking of how the gameplay would go, I'm not sure how fun it would actually be to play. I just wanted to make it because it would be cool to have a frog commander. You know, there's Gitrog if I want to play that, but uh, it's not really my style. Gardas summons. Here's a Chandra emblem to go with my Chandra. There we go. Got one of the lands, Death Cat Glade. The green black one, I imagine that's probably a pretty good one. I'm not sure the financial value of the land at the moment, but uh, for Midnight Hunt, for a while, these were, you know, more than a dollar each. With the swaps being the most desirable. Change of fortune. Interesting, that could be a good card. Just the one Mythic so far, outside of the promos. A little bit surprising. Syncopate. Interesting reprint. Another Catilda. Fix up my piles a little bit. A little bit disappointed that uh, 
free release kits as prize support. They came with draft boosters this time instead of set boosters, because typically you get set boosters, but I guess that's because there's a delay in the supply of set boosters, so they're just not really available. I think this is a good uncommon. It's one that I might try and get a few copies of. Very similar to the one, the artifact from Theros Beyond Death, and also like Relic of Progenitus, of Progenitus you know, that kind of thing. Another change of fortune. And I got a foil. Is that a blood vial purveyor? <laughs> Another Hallbreaker horror. All right. Sure, I'll take that. And yes, that is a blood vial purveyor. So that is a good pack. I'm going to have to check the financial value of Blood Vial Purveyor, but I feel like it must have some value. Like, it, it just seems like such a good card. Toxreal the Corrosive. So this is another Mythic. 7-7 seven, seven Slug Horror. It seems pretty powerful. Could be good. Put that with the Mythics. I got another foil there. So the foils are coming in now. Red Feast Demon. Got one of those already. Vulcan Wrath Celebrates. Alright. Kind of cool. A neat looking vampire token. Flying Life Link. Is that the one that Soren makes? Yeah, it is. Hmm. I wonder if that's the, uh, the rare token from this set. Sometimes, like, rare, t if it is the rare token, so a lot of times those will actually have value, you know, it might be worth, like, two or three bucks. Nice. Blue-red dual land. Happy with that. How about that? Axon, oh. Halana, and Elena partners. Hmm. Interesting. I'll probably try to collect a full set of this also. That's what I did with the Midnight Haunt. It's not complete yet, but I went to, I think I went to every draft for the draft season of that set, so. I just kept the cards. Oh, nice. Another mythic. This is a good card, I think. Pretty powerful one. All black mythics so far. Um, but yeah, I just kept all the random cards that I got through drafting and tried to put together a full set in a binder. It's mostly complete. So maybe I'll try and do the same thing with this. Just, you know, adds another little fun thing to do, right? Rather than just putting all of the commons and uncommons into a bulk box. My third demonic bargain and a foil dominating vampire. What does that do? Uh, hmm. I feel like this card could have haste. If this had haste, it would be better, obviously, but I'm not sure how good it is as it stands. The Valor Stance. Winged Portent. Destroy a card for each creature with flying you control. Draw a card with. Mm. It's instant, but still feels like it'll be a bulk card. Let's 
That's pretty good. Vampire's Vengeance. A wedding announcement. How often do you think people are going to hand these out as uh, wedding invitations? You see that frequently as uh, people have you know, custom wedding invitations and things like that where it's made to look like a magic card or it's magic themed, but now they can just give out these, right? Gotta foil something. Nice, another death cap glade. Happy with that. Foil common. Uh, another Death Cat Glade, this one being the full art version, so, uh, cool. Also happy with that. See if I can get the full playset. Whoops. That one just jumped right out. Necro Duality. Here's another mythic. What does that do? Whenever a zombie, non-token zombie enters the battlefield under control, create a token. That's a copy of that creature. That feels like it's uh, could potentially be a pretty big casual card. You know, zombies are a popular tribe, right? Once again, another very narrow card. But, you know, and the deck it goes in, it'll do work. Dorothea? Dorothy? Cool. Foil Swamp. This card is pretty good. There's for Discovery. Another Toxrail. Okay, another Mythic. Four of my five mythics are black. I don't know what the biggest hit in this set is. Is it Soren? I'm not sure. Kaya, okay, another mythic, that's cool. This one is also black, but it's also white. We'll count it though. Counted towards the, the number of black mythics. I'm gonna make some more room for my other giant stack of mythics that I'm gonna open. I got a foil showcase something there. Here's downfall. So interesting to see this at uncommon. In standard, this was such a big card the first time it was printed in Theros. It was like a $10 rare for just, you know, a removal spell, but it saw so much play. Ascendant pack leader. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's wolf and werewolf stuff. And there's actually surprisingly high amount of, like, pretty good werewolf stuff in this set, which I feel like could have been in the previous set. But anyway, I'll probably put some of those cards in my Tovalar deck. Mark off Purifier. So I made a Tovalar deck. I did a deck tech for that. You can take a look if you'd like. Pretty fun deck. Hopeful Initiate. That seems pretty good actually. Because you can remove the counters from any creature you control. From, among, from any creatures you control. It doesn't even have to be both off of the same creature. Pretty flexible. Dollhouse of Horrors. Does stuff, I guess. Foil Syncopate. Oh, that's how many packs I got left. Another thirst for discovery there. Olvenwald Oddity. 
4 mana 4-4 four, four, Trample Haste seems pretty good. Transforms into 8-8 eight, eight, Trample Haste. Other creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1 have Trample and Haste. Um, yeah, that seems like a pretty good card. It transforms like a, like an Eldritch Moon Werewolf would transform. You just pay an activated cost. Headless Rider, another one of those. I wouldn't say that I'm unhappy if you get multiples of that. Another sword, <laughs> okay. Pretty sweet. So, uh, yes. Seven mythics. Six of them are black. Pretty happy with that. Thalia, that's cool. I forgot Thalia was in this set, but yeah, that's a, you know, pretty good reprint. And I got the showcase one here. We'll put it in the cool stuff pile. Not sure how valuable Thalia is anymore, especially after being reprinted, but, you know, definitely still a good card. Very playable. Lantern, Flare, oh. What's that card? Um, I don't know, that feels like a bulk card to me. Okay, insect token. So what, five packs left? I feel like I've gotten a bunch of this pack song, folks. Another Torrens. I think I got that guy in the showcase frame. Inspired idea. What does that do? Draw three. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good card actually. Another thirst for discovery. Dream shackle guys. Got that guy already. Another Edgar, all right, third Edgar. So one pack left. Let's see if I can complete a playset of either Edgar or Death Cat Glade. I guess if I had to choose one, I would prefer the Death Cat Glade. Let's see them. Slow roll this one. Yeah. It's a rare, it's multicolored, nice, okay, Storm Carved Coast, I'm happy with that. Alright, so here's what I got. Uh, I got all the cool stuff laid out. The stuff I scanned up here came up to about 183 US, so I feel like that's pretty good, right? Uh, I feel like I got you know, a pretty good amount of cool stuff, so seven mythics. Uh, five of them are black, one of them is white black, and then a blue one here. Uh, Cool to get two Sorens, two, two Tox Rills. I think those are both pretty good Mythics. These were the pre-release promos that I got. Got two Mythics there too. The Chandra is pretty nice. I like that one. Uh, five of the, the Dual Lands. I'm happy with that as well. Uh, I'm a pretty, pretty big fan of the, the Dual Land cycle for this set and the previous one. Uh, three of these are the same and two of the blue-red ones. So out of the five Dual Lands, I only got two different types. Two Hullbreaker Horrors, which is pretty sweet, one of which is foil. Uh, I got two other foil rares here, not terribly notable, but two foil rares. Got a Thalia, Overcharged Amalgam. Uh, three Edgars, these are actually not as valuable as I thought they were, but still I think it's a good card, so you know, it's cool to get three of them. And then currently Wash Away is the top one common in the set, got two of those here. 
then there's also this big stack of you know full art basics which i didn't scan or include but that has value too right but uh, yeah i'm happy with uh, this pack opening that i did i feel like i got lots of cool stuff i'm looking forward to uh taking all the stuff that i got and even the commons and uncommons and putting those into a binder and trying to put together a set i think that should be fun but uh yeah i mean let me know what you what you think of the set if you're a fan of it i think it's pretty cool but anyway uh if you're still watching thanks for watching It'd be cool if you could like and subscribe otherwise i'll talk to you later